So, I just got home from work. It is 7.30 in the morning. I had to work the night shift last night. I had a little seven hours yesterday, and then I worked the night shift last night. I'm exhausted. My one word will be concluded after I go to sleep, because I'm exhausted, guys. The missile business is just like that sometimes. But I'm going to bed. It's currently seven degrees outside. It's way too fucking cold. I'm gonna go get my bed, get some rest, wake up in a couple hours, finish this video, edit it, and I'll have it out tonight by 8 p.m. But anyway, guys, I will see you soon. The bed is calling. Ugh. All right, later. Slept about four and a half hours, five hours, something like that. Video, it's currently, I don't have my watch, but I think it's like 4.15. Three hours and some change to finish this video, edit it, and upload it. First, food. I'm not a smart man. So before I go get some food, today's one word is going to be about the word never. And it's not so much about the word never as it is the concept never. Someone doesn't have to tell you, well, you're never going to do that. They can say it in a different way as, well, good luck with that, or yeah, that'll never happen, or my main motivation in life has been through a scenario kind of like that where I was told never. In high school, I was, I was never really picked to go very far. I wasn't a straight A student. I wasn't on a roll all the time. I wasn't, I was in beta club and all that stuff, but just barely. I got, I got really complacent. I just didn't care about high school at all. I just kind of went to go. I didn't skip, I didn't, you know, miss class, but I just didn't care. I just, it was easy to me. There was no real reason to prove myself. And before anybody thinks, it wasn't ever my parents who didn't believe in me. My parents were my biggest cheerleaders. They always believed in everything I did, always celebrated my accomplishments, always pushed me to go harder. They always believed that, you know, I'd go to school, get a good education, settle down, have kids, have all the cars I've ever wanted. And in my mind, that's what I wanted too. I got into school, I started doing my basics in college. Still had no idea what I wanted to do. I mean, I knew what I liked, but I had no idea what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. About two and a half years into college, I was done with my basics, and I decided I went to talk to the school counselor at a UALR in Little Rock. She looked at what I was good at and looked at my scores, and she said, you know, you're really good at math and science. Have you ever thought about engineering? And I thought in the back of my mind, I was like, exactly what I want to do. That's exactly what I love doing. I love building stuff. I love cars. I love everything about it. But it also, in the back of my mind, I thought, yeah, engineer. That's a hard, that's a, not an easy route to go. I went systems engineer also, which is the, which is a lot more math heavy. And it's, uh, it's considerably harder to get. And I thought, you know what? If I can do that, there's nothing I can do. Right? That's, that's something that I can push toward, and I, if I, I'm going to have to bust my ass to get to, but I can do it. And I almost didn't make it. I was within a few credit hours of almost failing out of college my last year because depression hit, and I lost all motivation again. The sun is really bright. I really wish I hadn't forgot my sunglasses at home. So I, I skated by in the last year of college, and through a mutual friend, I ended up getting a really good career at Lockheed Martin. And at that point, I felt proud. I felt like I'd got somewhere in my life. And the only real motivation I can think of was no one from my hometown ever thought, you know, well, he's the most likely to succeed. He's never going to be the the guy who makes something for himself. But I pushed my ass off to get to where I'm at. And I don't mean McDonald's. Three hours to post. It's five o'clock. I got this. I have to swear off fast food again. This is getting bad. I've got to go to the store and make my own meals. I got a good kick last year, but starting off this year has been rough. February 1st, no more fast food for the rest of the year. You guys hold me to that. 
because it's gonna be rough to do that. So when it came to this YouTube channel, I had a lot of the same kind of feedback. I had a lot of people tell me, you know, that's that's not gonna take off. That's not it's not anything interesting. No one wants to do that. YouTube's dying. And I know that, you know, that's coming from my close friends and family. It's worked for me once before and it'll work for me again. If I push and I work hard and I try to do this, there's nothing I can't achieve. And I think I've been thinking a lot about my goals with this YouTube channel. And I think that my goals are for this YouTube channel to take me places. I want to be able to get out and see the world. My dream job of has always been to be like a car journalist. Jeremy Clarkson type guy, you know, goes out and drives fun cars, talks about them, has an extreme passion for cars, and that's where I want to go with this. And if this YouTube channel lead, ends up leading me to that and I kind of figure out some videography and get my photography nailed down, who knows what's out there for me. The takeaway from this video, since I'm running out of time, it's 5.30, I'm trying to hold myself to my schedule. Like I said before, I want to keep my Tuesday, Thursday schedule, and I want to be held accountable for it. I want my YouTube channel to hold me responsible to something, something that I have to be creative, something that I have to come up with a new way of making something interesting. I, mean, I want to be able to get my ideas out there, express my creativity through this channel. I want to have a deadline, and I want to be entertaining. I know these talking ones aren't as entertaining, but I enjoy it. I've heard other YouTubers talk about camera therapy, and this is, this is helping me out, kind of get this out. And my friends contact me and say, you know, hey man, I watched your complacency video. That really helped me out. Or hey man, I watched your beard video and I'm in the same boat. I know exactly what you're going through. That's exactly the conversation I want to start. If you want to talk to me about something or if my video made you feel something or made you realize something, I have done my job. That's exactly what I want to do. When people tell you never, I want you to go out there and prove that you can do it. And like I said, never is not exactly the word they might use. They may not say, you'll never do this, you'll never do that. Well, good luck. Yeah, hope that works out for you. Use that. Use that motivation. No one's gonna, no one's gonna do it for you. If you want to get out there and make your dreams possible, I plan on being a rally driver one day. I hope that works out. If that doesn't work out, then you know that's my fault. I want to be a professional car journalist, and if that doesn't work out, guess whose fault that is? It's mine. It's not anybody else's. One day when I achieve my dreams. Hopefully I'll look back at this and be like, there you go, I did it. All am I doing? No one's gonna walk up to you and walk up to the door and knock on the door and say, Mr. Seaton, would you like to be our race car driver? No, no one's gonna walk up to my door and say, Mr. Seaton, would you like to take this R34 GTR across the Alps? No one's gonna say that to me. You have to go out there and do it. I want to prove to myself I can do this. That's my goals. I don't know what yours are. You obviously know what your goals are. I want you to go out there and I want to push for them. I have people in my daily life that sit around and they, they, they're, they're, they're comfortable where they're at. Kind of going back to my complacency video. They're comfortable, nothing's wrong, nothing's right, they're okay. But are they living their dream? Are they truly doing what they want to do in life? I'm also comfortable, but I'm also not living my dream. To go back to my analogy with school, what I wanted out of school was I wanted cars. I always wanted toys. My parents always said, well, you know, you can get your toys when you get out of school. And I kept thinking, God, why can't they just give me this? Or why just can't they just, you know, why can't they help me just buy a car and, they'll, and I'll pay them back or, you know. And I was smart of them. They, they gave me the feed, they gave me the hunger that I needed to pack, get through school and get a career. Because as soon as I got out of school, I got my toys. I got exactly what I wanted because I worked my butt off to get there. I got my cars, I got my, my four-wheeler, I got my computer, got my camera set up, I've got all the cool things I've ever wanted. But there's more. There's always a little bit more you can push for. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push through this year, get this YouTube channel rolling, see where it takes me. I'm not trying to look for fame, fortune, money. I just want to live my dream. The future I want is 100% up to what I do. If I sit around and play computer games all day long, I'm not gonna get any closer to that dream. I would love to play computer games all day long. I did that for many years. I'm tired of sitting in the same place and staying on the nice linear path. I don't wanna be on that linear path. I wanna keep it growing. And that's what this YouTube channel is doing for me. The never mentality keeps you complacent. It keeps you thinking, yeah, you're right. That's never gonna work. You gotta push, you gotta go. You gotta, when it gets hard, Keep pushing, keep learning. You fail, that is 100% fine because everybody else does it. Everybody else fails. No one's gone straight through life, never hit a road bump in their life. The past is behind you. 
the only thing you can control is tomorrow. You get out there, just do it. Here's the Shia LaBeouf do it speech. Just do it. Get out there and go. I'm going to keep this video kind of short today because, well, like I said, I worked night shift. Had a long night. Don't have a lot of time to upload this video and get it up. The takeaway from this video is find your motivation. My motivation has always been people telling me, that's not going to work out. If it's not going to work out, it definitely won't work out if you sit around and expect something to happen for you. But if you get out there, you put in the work, you try, as cheesy as that sounds, you can do anything in the world you want to do. And never is not going to hold me back. Never is going to motivate me. It's going to keep me going. And I know the comments, I got some friends that are going to say, Oh yeah, well you'll never do blah 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 blah. I love you guys. That's why you're my friends. But anyway guys, I'm going to put this up. It'll be out by 8 o'clock tonight. I promise you that. Right now it is Thursday at 5.42 and I'm signing off. Edit this and get this up. Till next time guys. Peace.